Hey, I'm Anna Warner, and I want to share with you some supernatural stories that are fun. I have three crazy stories. The first one, I one time was praying, and um, I, there was this beautiful lady, she was from Africa, and she was carrying this baby, and it was like four months old. The baby was really fat and pudgy, and I just love fat, pudgy babies. Anyways, so I went to pray for her. I laid hands on her, and what? I wasn't expecting this. The fire of God hit her. She falls out on the floor. So she falls down, down under the power of God and the baby was like mid air flying. And I, so with one hand I still had and she falls down and then I lunge forward and I grab this baby before it hit the floor. And it's, it looked at me and was like, ah! <laughs> started screaming. <laughs> and, um, and then I went, okay, where's auntie? Where's the daddy? You know, and then someone came and got the baby. But that moment, I will forever remember that because the next time, like just recently, I went to pray for this lady and she had a baby and I immediately went, okay, somebody else take the kid before I lay a hand on her. So that's a little tip. <laughs> Don't leave a baby in the mama's arm because you never know what's gonna happen when the power of God hits somebody. That's just a little funny story. But um, I have another story I was praying for my husband and me were missionaries in Nepal, actually, and we went to pray in this area that was one of the poorest areas. And it was known as like the tent, they call it like the tent land. All these people live there and in uh, cardboard boxes and, you know, part of their houses were made with like tin roofs and plastic tarps, and stuff like that. And we went in there to pray and it was really muddy and rainy that day. And this little lady popped out of her little um, tent hut thing and she said come 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 will you will you pray for me and I said okay so I take my shoes off as their culture to respect I take my shoes off I go and duck under the hut and uh, I have a translator there and she's telling him and I said can I pray for you and what do you need prayer for and then she lifts up her shirt like this and it was like this open open wound. I could see like the insides of her stomach coming out, like things you're not supposed to see. And um, I went, <gasps> you're not supposed to do that, right? I, <laughs> and I went, oh, now I was smiling. And I went, okay. And internally though, the dialect went like this, God, I don't do ooze. Like I don't do, like I'll pray for the limb to grow out. I'll, I'll pray for the eye to, you know, blind eye to come back, but oozy stomachs, like I don't do that. And you know what he said? He said, you do now. And I went, oh God, okay. So I said, okay. And then he said, Anna, he said, I want you to hug the lady and you don't let go until she does. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. Like I, I'm obedient. Now I wasn't excited, <laughs> like, if I'm totally honest. I'm just sharing these stories to take the lid off, you know, ministry and all that. But I wasn't totally excited. But here's the thing, I'm obedient. So he said, hug her. So I looked to the translator, I said, can I hug you? And she said, sure. I go and I hug her and she starts sobbing and she's bawling and bawling and bawling. Now, as she's bawling, I'm praying obviously for her healing of this oozy open stomach wound, but her stomach ooze is now like pressing up against my shirt. Like I can feel the ooze from her stomach like going through my shirt, seeping through. Some of y'all just turn this off. Stay with me, <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> but I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh God. And he, remember he said, don't let go. And so I'm hugging and it went on for a long, uncomfortable time. Like a much longer than the normal hug. <laughs> okay, so finally she pulls away. She looks at me, and for a split second, I saw Jesus look right back at me through this woman's face. And he smiled at me. And um, I was like, oh, oh, Jesus. It was Jesus right there. And then she starts screaming, and she's jumping up and down, and I'm like, what's going on? And she lifts up her shirt, and it was completely healed, like the wound was not just, there was actually no even scar left there. No mark, all her insides put back together. And I was like, oh my God, 
is amazing. It shocked me. So that's another crazy wild story. And then um, the last one I want to share with you is actually, I just want to encourage you, actually, those of you who are like stepping into the prophetic, this one lady came for prayer one time to our healing rooms and I said, okay, Jesus. And she had all this, this things going on in her body for she needed healing. But I got this picture. Now as a seer, sometimes I get like weird. Sometimes the pictures are pretty like, okay, this is what God's saying. But I got this picture of this lady. She's about 45 years old. I saw her riding a pool noodle and that's all I got. And I'm like, God, you got anything else? And he goes, no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, are you sure? And he said, nope, that's all. And I'm like, okay, what am <laughs> I do with this? So I say, listen, I'm so sorry. Um, I start with apology because I'm already apologizing for it. And I said, I'm so sorry, but God sometimes gives me impressions or pictures and I don't really understand this yet, but here's what I got. And I told her like, oh, Jesus, help me. I didn't have faith for in the moment, but I'm obedient. So I said, I see this picture of you riding this pool noodle. And as soon as I said it, here's what happened. As soon as I said it, it's like God rewarded me for being obedient because then he filled my mouth with the revelation. So I said, and here's what I think God is saying. And he filled my mouth and I said, he wants to restore childlike faith in you and just joy. And then I said, and something happened to you. I was getting the download, right? It was like, I was getting the download from heaven. I said, something happened to you when you were a child and there was a trauma that happened when you were a little girl. And ever since then, it's been really hard for you to have joy. God wants to restore your joy like a child to be able to have fun with life again. She goes, Wah! and she starts crying. And I'm sitting there going, what is, that? What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, praise Jesus. But at the same time, I'm going, okay, are they tears of joy or tears of sadness? I don't know. Oh God, please take over. And then uh, she's crying. And I literally look at my team going, I don't know. I hope it's gone. I don't know. And she says, she gets through all her tears. And then she says, um, my brother almost drowned when I was a little girl and I have the memory of being there. And they saved his life, but he was almost drowned. He almost died, and from that moment on, and, and she said, I used to actually love to ride those pool noodles, but from that moment on, not only did I have fear of pools and water, but I just never really could feel uh, joy. You know, it was a really sobering, horrible thing I went through, and it was really traumatic, and then I just can't feel joy. And uh, so we ended up walking her through inner healing from that whole thing and then God brought supernatural joy in, and it was amazing. So I just want to tell you that and encourage you because I remember when I, all I had was a lady riding a pool noodle. What God? But hey, he showed up. I'm glad he did. Thank you, Jesus. So I hope this has encouraged you uh, to be absolutely naturally supernatural wherever you are. I'm gonna pray for you right now that you, wherever you are, you can influence the world for Jesus. So Father, I just pray right now that you would uh, make us aware of the world around us, God, that so needs you. Lord, let us be your hands and feet and flesh today, wherever we go, in Jesus' name, amen.